Hey everyone, welcome back. In this Confluence tutorial, we are going to learn how you can create a global template in Confluence and then use it. So we will consider a real document and then we'll try to replicate that in the Confluence and see how you can create a global template and use it in all your spaces that are there within Confluence. So before we proceed further, I would like to mention that this video is sponsored by Jexo. Jexo builds work planning apps for Jira Cloud. Foxly, one of their plug and play prioritization and planning app is designed to take the guesswork out of the prioritization so that every backlog item counts. Check the link in the description below for more on Foxly. Thank you. So let's get started. So in order to get started, the first thing is basically I have just googled interview feedback form and this is the form that we'll try to replicate. So we'll just try to see two sections here uh, and try to map this into our Confluence template, global template and see how our templates look like and then how we can use it in our spaces to create the pages okay so in order to create the global template you need to have you need to be site admin and once you are site admin for the confluence you can go to the configuration so settings cogwheel click on settings cogwheel and then simply go to the global templates and blueprints okay so click on that link here and once you are on the global templates and blueprints you will see the button here to add global page template and in order to add global page template you simply click on the global page template and it will open a page so it's it won't be different from the normal page that you create in confluence so all the editing options and things that you see in the normal pages most of it will be visible for the template creation as well because template is nothing but you are sort of creating a blank form with relevant information or the common information that needs to be there for each and every file that gets created by using that particular template so we'll create a page title so we'll say simply say interview feedback form okay and then we'll say hyphen so when whenever some interviewer is using this particular template they can you know fill the name so in the title they can fill the name after this interview feedback form for the candidate okay so now on this particular template you can see that we are on the templates now and in this page now we'll fill the information based on this particular form so let's go and see this is the interview feedback form we need to have date candidate name and evaluator right so let's put that into a tabular format so we'll add a table so what we'll do is we'll simply click on this table and then we will change it so we'll move this column as the date interviewer name and the evaluator right the candidate name and the evaluator okay so in order to do that simply go to the table options and we'll say header column okay and then uncheck header row so now and we simply need two rows there so we'll remove or we'll delete this particular uh, we need two columns sorry so we'll delete one of the column there so now here we'll put the date so when some interviewer is interviewing a candidate they have to provide the date and then they have to provide the candidate name and their name okay so i'll say candidate name and who is the evaluator okay so now we are done with the first part and the second thing is candidate is a good fit for this position right so let's put a heading there okay so now we need a heading so we'll simply select the heading here and we'll say is all right so just that question there and then we have to select whether the candidate is good fit for this position then we have to provide these options there so what we can use here is we can use the variable so we simply start with the forward slash and say variable and we'll specify the variable okay and we'll then select the variable and edit it and we'll provide is candidate a uh, good fit and then we want to have a list of options there okay so what are the options the options are agree let's put three or four options so somewhat agree neutral and disagree okay so we'll say agree okay so there are four options now okay we'll save it the second question is please rate the candidate skills so for each skill what we'll do is we'll add a variable so we'll specify the skill 
okay let's add couple of skills there so the second heading is about the candidate skills so we'll say rate candidate skills okay and here we'll say communication technical skills and then we have the five options there so one is low and five is high so we'll specify this here as well so one is low and five is high okay and we'll just add say for example we'll just say here we'll have the numbered list okay and then we'll say technical skills and below technical skills let me just put after that we'll add a variable okay so we'll say variable and in the variable we'll edit it and we'll say tech skills we'll specify the variable name as tech skills we'll provide the list and we have to ask the interviewer to choose from the rating one to five okay so we'll put the five values there then we'll come to the next and we'll say communication skills and then we'll add a variable again and we'll say new variable we'll edit this variable and we'll say we'll name the variable so communication and again list and we'll specify the option because there are five options so we'll specify five one to five there okay so similarly you can just keep adding the details there so depending like there are five different skills that need to be captured we can keep adding those five and then there are the comment section right so we can have the freestyle comment there okay so at the number three i can simply specify so heading three here uh, heading one and we'll say number three we'll say comments okay so this is how you will basically go ahead and replicate whatever feedback form you have or whatever form you have in the organization that you want to convert into confluence go ahead and do something like that okay now we'll save it so now this template will get saved and this is the global template as you can see we are in the global template and blueprint section and this has been saved here the name is interview feedback form we haven't provided any description right so what we'll do is we'll provide the template description okay so we'll say use this template for candidate interviews okay so that it's visible to the people the description and they can use this okay so you can specify the description so that whosoever sees this template they are aware that this is the latest one we need to use okay so that's how you will add the global template right now once this global template is added as i have already explained that global template template will be visible to all the spaces right so here whatever spaces we have say for example now we go to rcv academy knowledge base and we want to search for this template okay so we'll go to templates and let's search for the template okay so we'll say interview and see that here you can see interview feedback form is appearing okay and this is custom so we'll use it this is the one that we created just now so we'll use it and we'll see how this particular appears so you can see that it shows that this template uses variables and we can once we fill them the information whatever will supply as part of the variable will become part of the page so say for example today i'm doing an interview of john the candidate named john so i will basically specify uh, you know how that particular person did in today's interview so we'll say uh, is this candidate good for a position so i'll simply select from this yeah he is perfectly fine and then in the technical skills i'll rate this uh, technical skills were really good five is high and then communication skills were okay four and then i will simply go ahead and click on create okay so now once i use this template and create a document okay so now this particular page got created okay so now on this page what i can do is i can specify the date i can specify the candidate name and the evaluator okay now these information i have to come and provide in the page whatever variables that you have defined that you can choose when you are trying to create the document because as part of the variable you know that these are the possible options so we have provided those as part of the variable but this information is dynamic and can change depending on the candidate or the evaluator so you keep it as a simple text and the page title will simply specify the candidate feedback form so we'll say um, candidate feedback form or we'll say simply candidate feedback and provide the name of the candidate right and then date candidate name 
okay and the evaluator whosoever is taking the interview right then rest information has been filled up in the comments i can simply come and provide my comments so we'll say this is sample comment okay and once this form has been filled we can simply publish it and this feedback will be visible to the audience that need to know about this particular feedback and it is it, it is as simple as creating a template and then basically using that template and using the form to capture the candidate feedback or the interview feedback right so this is much simple and very efficient it won't take long to capture the feedback and rather than sending emails here and there this is how you can make your process more efficient by using the global templates in confluence so that's all about how you can create a global template in confluence and once you create a global template in confluence it will be visible to all the spaces right so say for example i'll go to other space as well so we have seen it in the rcva academy knowledge base say for example i go to documentation demo space and in the demo space I can say for example I want to create a new page okay so let's say I'll create a new page so I'll click on create and here you see that it is documentation demo space is selected and I can select based on the template okay so I can go to this custom here you can see two custom ones are there so I can select interview feedback form and use that to create it here as well okay so once you create a global template it will be available to all the spaces it doesn't matter which space you will select your custom template that you see here it is a global one will be available at all the spaces right so this is available at third ones and this is available also at rcv demo right so that's what a global template is it will be available to all the spaces and how you can create global template and how it will be useful for your general data capture or form capture within confluence so i hope this was helpful thank you very much for watching